Hi, this is Ernest from ErnestAndJamima.com. There are a lot of things required in order to run a successful online business. It's important to know these things upfront before you get started in order to give yourself the best chance to succeed. So when I come back, I'm gonna go over exactly what you need for a successful online business. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So we are going over what you need for a successful online business. Now, along with my wife, Jamima, we help entrepreneurs build businesses online through leverage and automation. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to turn on notifications so you are updated whenever we produce new videos. Now, I realize there are a lot of offers out here and claims for easy money and guarantees with little to no work required. And guys, it never works out that way. The truth is running a successful online business takes hard work and dedication, and there are many things that you have to put together. When I go over this list with you, it's gonna seem like a lot, and it really is. However, if you stay with me until the end, I'm gonna share with you how you can get a lot of this stuff either automated or done for you. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need is a product or service that people actually want and would be willing to purchase it online. Now you either have to create the product or acquire one that already exists. Now, obviously if it's a physical product, you have to store it somewhere and then you need to have a means to get it to the end customer. Now let's get into logistics. So you're gonna to have to deal with things like customer service because when you have customers, they're gonna have questions and they may want to return the product or get a refund. Merchant accounts. You know, this is something that a lot of people don't think about. How are you gonna process your payments? There are a couple of different options out there, but this is something that you need to consider and many people take this part for granted. Chargebacks. You have to deal with customers requesting their credit card company to reverse the transaction. And you have to challenge that and prove that you delivered the product as promised. So that's a whole other process to keep in mind. Okay, infrastructure. So in addition to the product and the logistics, you're going to need a website and a sales page for customers to enter their credit card information. You're gonna to have to be concerned about the backend technology and integrations and the security of your data. These are all very important and essential elements of an online business. Now, there is a lot of things that go into marketing. You're gonna need a sales funnel where you can collect a lead up front. See, the sales page in the previous section is for when someone is already ready to buy. However, you often need to walk a potential customer through a process, usually involving some type of education so that they decide that the product you have is something that they want to purchase. Email marketing system. So you're gonna to need to have a follow-up series and different ways to reach back out to your leads because they may not be ready to buy right away. And guys, this is critical because the majority of your sales come after the fifth exposure to your product the customer relationship manager or the CRM, you need a way to document and keep track on information about your customers or potential customers. Videos, copywriting, marketing materials, all the actual marketing items that your customers are gonna see and make them want to buy your product. Source of traffic. A lot of people don't think about this when they are getting started, but how are people gonna find out about your product or service? Are you gonna use social media? Are you gonna be placing ads or are you going to get referrals? So how are people going to learn about your offer? And how are you gonna close sales, especially maybe your higher ticket or more expensive products? Are you going to get on the phone or host webinars to close them or are you just gonna use your sales page? Now, I'm sure by now this may seem a bit overwhelming. And guys, if it was easy, then everyone would be doing this. However, there are ways that you can actually streamline the process and get a lot of these tasks done for you. To learn how you can accomplish this, then click on the top link in the description of this video. This will lead you to a training that I recorded that goes over how you can create multiple streams of income online without it taking up all your time. I outlined the five business models that can produce a reliable income online and the pros and cons of each one. 
I also discuss the rookie mistakes that you need to avoid that will save you thousands of dollars. Again, to access this training, click on the top link in the description of this video. I trust that you gain value from this video. If you have, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel so we can continue to deliver more valuable training to help you build your business online. Again, my name is Ernest. You can find me and my wife, Jamima, online at ernestandjamima.com. Go ahead and click on the link in the description, and I'll see you on the next video.